Hello everyone and welcome back to Field Race vs Community. We're here for some more A-Class all-wheel drive races here at Road Atlanta for a first race starting in 15th place. And all right, start a uh, fast charging car guy behind us. Uh, takes us down to 16th. We'll cover off the inside as the car also passes us. Have a car looking to our inside into turn one. Thankfully, they back out of it and peg it. Gang round our outside as we're going three wide uh, towards the S's down. We just got back out of it. It's very risky. Uh, for this first apex as we had nearly four wide in front couple of cars choosing to cut across the inside grass as we find ourselves now three wide in the middle of the s's here black car comes across the track and slides off into the grass like the other end and we're back into 15th place where we qualified one car off into the gra uh, gravel and into the walls well we'll push up to 14th we're gonna make a big defense here against Glisker as we head to the back end of the track trying to hold on to 14th and Glisker can't hold it around the outside go for a bit of a send on the uh, Mustang there and um, sort of weird phasing through each other as we have a good exit on the black NSX coming out for the tight right hander uh, Glisker's got the acceleration on us going to get easily past both of us as Mustang also has the acceleration uh, as well as Hordes in the Porsche we've got to come back past and pass back down to 15th. Grumples is also going to catch up. We're going to be neck, neck and neck heading into the braking zone. Brake is this. We are just about not running into the back of the Mustang and fending off from Grum Brun uh, Grumples for now. Having a look to the inside of the Fords, we head to the final corner. Just don't have the acceleration to get alongside. So as we end up one, we're in 14th up one place from where we started. But we'd like to get up a few more places. Grumples having a look to the inside isn't quite close enough as we have a couple of cars running out wide. Uh, so we'll make up one position, try and make up a second on the Mustang, but get caught up behind uh, Hordes Parjo as we see a uh, car guy getting, uh, cutting the grass and uh, Hordes, well, again, uh, weird collisions, uh, spinning Hordes round off into the grass. That will pass up to P11 as we're trying to catch up to car guy now though we do know they have good acceleration so it will be uh, difficult to catch up to him but we've also got grumbles not too far behind us uh, and we know how much they caught us on the first lap down the straight so i want to try and get as much of a gap as possible get the best exit to out of this tyrant right hander easy, more easily done in these all-wheel drive cars of course uh, as you're not uh, worried as much about traction Try and get any slipstream that we can from car guide. It's going to be pivotal uh, trying to hold on to P11 here. We're going to pull over to the racing line. Give Grumbles the inside as I just think he's too quick. And will get past us no contention. But as we break for the chicane. Actually breaking much later than Grumbles. And getting round the outside to the part, first part of the chicane. Inside for the second part. And getting the move done and reclaiming P11. I really didn't expect to make that move. Uh, but when Grumbles got on the brakes, realized, oh, this is a uh, possibility here. But we're going to try and catch back up to the cars in front. Uh, we certainly seem to be a bit better in the technical sections, but uh, what we gain in the technical sections, we really lose out on the acceleration zone, especially down the back straights. You can see how much we've closed in on Car Guy just through T1 alone, uh, but not finding it uh, way past as we head into the S's following Car Guy. Try and see if we can get uh, enough of an opportunity to get through so backing off a little bit into the left hander to try and carry a bit more apex speed and get slightly better exit car guy running wide onto clipping the gravel onto the grass uh, but the acceleration of that green machine will keep it in front frustratingly uh, for us and our car guys just go hold us up uh, slightly through these corners uh, but car guys also gonna get held up by the maserati in front and uh, from that we're going to be three wide then on the exit we're going to pull uh, to the front of the three wides very momentarily before car guys acceleration kicks in and eventually the maserati's top end uh, that uh, lower drag shape uh, kicking in as well uh, giving them them the best top speed and uh, they'll take p9 as they head into the chicken slightly deep on the brakes leaves him very tight into the chicane as we start to drive through uh, car guys car uh, once again weird collisions and spins him off unfortunately uh, into the left hand side wall very weird from forces there instead of sort of pushing car guy along we kind of phase together 
and it made the game very upset. Hordes gets past us in their Peugeot from that, and Grub Bulls gets alongside us heading to turn one, and we'll get that move done, demoting us back down to P12 now. As we head into the S's once more, that's a little frustrating. So now we're going to, have to follow these cars that we're going to be, that we're quicker than uh, through the S's, but just nowhere to go, nowhere to make a move. Uh, Hordes making a little mistake. That back scrumbles up, and we see an opportunity here to try and get to the inside for the left-hander here. But Grumbles holding it around the outside, uh, holds on to P11 for now. The Mustang uh, starting to close up on us as well behind as we head. Uh, towards the back straight once more. We know we don't have the acceleration to fight these cars, but we're definitely going to be under pressure from the Mustang. Try and stay as close as we can to Grumble's uh, Nissan in front. Uh, try and get as much slipstream as we can, uh, but you can see the Mustang closing up now. We'll, we'll go defensive, try and hold the inside for the chicane, though the Mustang will have enough speed to clear over that. We'll duck back into the slipstream, have a look to the inside, and we're just about close enough to go for a move down the inside. The Mustang leaves us plenty of room, uh, maybe a little bit too much room, as lets us get the move done uh, nice and easily to reclaim uh, P12 there. So we're going to cut ahead now as we're... Uh, Heading into the penultimate lap now, following Grumble's Nissan once again in towards the S's. And we've got a pack of five cars in front of us now, all backing each other up. So once again, uh, not able to use our uh, speed that we have uh, through the corners here. But uh, yeah, just trying to get a bit of an offset, trying to get a run to maybe pass Grumble's, but realizing, yeah, no, no one there. Let's see if we can get a good run this time off this left-hander, which we do, so we're just going to try and pull to the left inside, that's where the gap seems to be, but again, just lacking that acceleration. We'll have to stay behind now, Grumble's going a little bit offensive into this right-hander. You can see uh, Yulu Menace struggling here and dropping a couple of places. They seem to be the uh, cork in the bottle for this fight, but uh, once again, as we get to the straight everything just by dragging us and uh, we fall back a bit but as everyone is very close into the chicane they could potentially uh, hold each other up see grumbles getting onto the grass as we get into the braking zone but they get the move done on Yodo so now it's up to us to try and get that move done I have the chicane using all of the curb there uh, the yellow car from Yodo through the final corner. We've got a yellow car wide spinning off into the barrier, uh, losing plenty of time in you. Though it's a little bit wide onto the grass too. That compromises our momentum. Let's just get to the inside and we'll go for a move down the inside of turn one. Hordes in their pressure. Big slide completely sideways through turn one. Gives us another place and we are up to P9. Now up six places. We're it uh, should have the grip to beat you though, but they're still fighting a uh, three car fight in front of us. So we're going to see if we can try and close down into maybe make any last ditch uh, effort moves uh, in the second half of this lap to finish the race off. Heading down towards the two right handers at the back end of the circuit here. You can see we are closing in through these corners. Grumble's just being held up slightly by the Maserati. Glisker 2 backing these cars up as well. You can see Glisker just covering off a cutback from the Maserati really holds them up and that allows Grumble's to get around the outside and then Grumble's using that door end acceleration to pull in front for now. But as we know, that Maserati has good top end pulls into the slipstream heading down towards the chicane. Will we see a defence or an overtake? The Maserati not quite having enough speed. Looks to the inside but doesn't go for a move but ends up tagging the back of Grumbles. That compromises our run through the first part of the chicane and they leave a gap open on the inside of the second part of the chicane that we just sneak our way through very cheekily to gain one last position before the end of their race. P8 then up at uh, seven places uh, a decent race unfortunately a couple of contacts uh, for it being uh, really buggy uh, really weird with those collisions we definitely had the pace for a lot more you can see that fastest lap was very competitive uh, but yeah caught in traffic because well we had the speed in the corners that's where we find our lap time we couldn't use it stuck behind other cars and then they'd have the acceleration to beat us there. So after that, I decided to try a Audi Quattro for this next race. Uh, the qua this Quattro has uh, quite a bit more acceleration, uh, but I have uh, bogged down a lot off the start from 
at P12, losing a couple of positions as we head down towards turn one here at Sebring. We're going to be on the outside of a three wide. We're going to try and leave enough room for the two cars on our inside. Unfortunately, we're just going to get Forza glued with the Elan, which pushes us off into the grass. And uh, we're going to try and make sure we rejoin safely. That does mean falling behind a few more cars um, outside of the three wide. Very awkward, very clumsy three here. So my car's trying to find small space. And then this Elan comes back. Uh, it was bad. It wasn't bad enough at T1 being ran wide. Uh, they had to come spin across track directly in front of us, holding us up even more. So we're down in 18th now, um, having started in 12th place. A bit of a gap to catch up to as well uh, to the cars in front, unfortunately. Through the harp and still quite a few battles. Still some cars uh, throwing themselves out in single file. Uh, good overtaking opportunity coming up into this right-hander. Unfortunately, we're not close enough to take uh, advantage, but might see a uh, lot of cars going side by side. You can see quite a few uh, in that battle. They'll all be holding each other up, and that's going to allow us to uh, close back in. And maybe here uh, will be our first opportunity. The Mustang a little bit wide through this left-hander, but we'll keep on the track. We're looking to the outside. We'll sort of slot a little gap around the outside. Instead, we're going to go for a bit of a cutback, trying to use our superior acceleration this time uh, that we were missing in the last race. Uh, the Quattro pr proving us quite well, but struggling more for grip there. As you can see, just running wide through this double left-hander, nearly losing both those places that we were trying to gain. Still on the inside of the Mustang as we head through this little section. We'll try and get the move done before we get on to the back straight here. Just have to leave the Mustang room on the outside we, as we still have a bit of overlap but then we just box the Mustang in uh, behind the Alpine GTA that we also pass on acceleration. Getting into slipstream of the car in front as we head down towards the hairpin we're going to try and take a tighter line see if we can maybe pick up a place or two car nearly getting fed into the wall in front um, but as we get out of the final corner here go uh, barrack set acceleration on the red and white car and that's going to allow us to uh, pull in front and retake P14. Trying to chase down now the two cars in front as they all get caught up together and yeah a couple of cars getting Forza glued there uh, uh, finding themselves sliding off into the right hand side barrier unfortunately for them uh, but that promotes us back to P12 where we started and there's still more cars in front of us so we can uh, hopefully take some positions from fighting hard up ahead a lot of uh, door rubbing happening as you can see a uh, black NSX seems to be struggling so it seems to be a bit of a cork in the bottle for everyone most people have passed and we're going to have a little look to the outside here a little bit too far back but we do slightly get alongside into the hairpin though on the outside nothing will be done there but the acceleration that we have on the exit of the hairpin uh, allows us to make a very easy move there uh, even taking some grass out of the hairpin to make sure we get that move done. Closing in now on Mpega's Mercedes in front. Uh, it's going to get caught up behind uh, Rusky and Longbow uh, fighting with uh, that sort of light green uh, skyline. Now, uh, we've had a couple of run-ins so far. But as we head through the section, just nowhere really to go. And Pega gets to the inside of Longbow, slightly compromises our exit. You can see the acceleration uh, that we have here. We should hopefully just about pull clear of Mpega. A little bit of a tight line bounce over the curb up onto two wheels. Mpega giving us a little bit of a nudge as we try and get the car slowed down for this right-hander For Mpega just completely swipes into us, uh, making it very difficult to uh, control the car. Um, but yeah, giving us no room for a look to the inside to try and get back in Mpega. The space isn't really there. We have to cut the corner to not push Mpega into Longbow. Uh, but then again the acceleration on the exit will pull us clear we're also pull clear of the screen skyline which just doesn't have the straight line speed to compete and get the car slowed down for the right hand, the, uh, right hand hairpin here trying to look for the inside long boat don't quite have the grip of it the skyline's going to try and come back us and escorts us uh, quite wide uh, and we end up meeting the wall from that uh, just being pushed onto such a wide line but another rude move there from the skyline very uh, very disappointed in them this week uh, but either way we're going to try and get back at them uh, in this lap uh, we know we don't have quite have the same grip uh, as the cars around us uh, that we had the same advantage that we had with the ford escort um, back at road atlanta 
but if we can stay close enough, we can hopefully get a move down towards the hairpin here. They'll be a corner cut through this midsection, so we're using the Quattro's uh, rally skills to open up the track a little bit. We're going to go to the right-hand side. Space isn't really there, but honestly, didn't really care. They were quite rude to us, so we're going to be rude back to them, and we easily pull clear of them. Try and catch up a little bit more t uh, onto the back of Mpega again. Uh, Longbow now fighting Grumbles in a black Porsche. We just try and sneak to the inside of Mpega, and we do get alongside Mpega, so we're getting boxed in a little bit, and we have the acceleration to make it three wide on the exit with Grumbles and Longbow. In fact, we'll pull clear of Grumbles just by pull clear of Longbow as well as we head towards the hairpin, just trying to cover the inside line. Grumbles is trying to have a little look. Will sort of get alongside, but is on too tight of a line to do anything. Longbow's trying to carry more speed through the corner, but it's just boxed in behind us, and Mpeg is trying to make up a couple of positions as well, sneaking down the inside. Grumbles falls to the back of the pack. Longbow in our sleep slipstream, hang down towards turn one. We'll try and get back at us, looking to the outside of turn one. As our lines just sort of converge together. Longbow's going to clip our rear bumper. That's good, uh, and Forza Glue is going to drag us out wide. Fortunately, allowing Mpega to slip back down the inside. And then Longbow uh, is going to miss our breaking point, uh, running into the back of us and pushing us off the track. We're going to uh, come back on a little bit rudely, I uh, must admit, but I uh, didn't really care. It wasn't my fault I was off the stage. Uh, Longbow and Grumbles then getting uh, caught up and uh, both of them firing towards the barrier, unfortunately, uh, once again. So a couple of uh, more unfortunate collisions this race as we head to the hairpin of the penultimate lap and peg it gang wide, gang into the barrier uh, like we did after we got some assistance from the green skyline uh, but that allow us to take P7 again and from the rest of that lap we were able to hold on to a horde stead close in uh, towards the end of the race but uh, didn't have the acceleration on us out of the final corner to be of any threat so for second race here we'll take uh, p7 two decent results we certainly had a lot uh, more pace at uh, first race we were just caught in traffic at road atlanta uh, second race here well traffic again just a uh, lot of rude racing getting pushed out wide and getting sort of the unfortunate side uh, of a lot of uh, incidents However, that is going to do it for this week's Versus Community. Thank you, everyone, very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.